I'll take that now. Hello, you're on the Timmy D Experience. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Not bad. So is this Cleveland O'Neill? Well, I certainly hope so. Well, great. And the last time you checked, it certainly was. Well, it's great to talk with you. You are actually one of the great people behind the successful hit show, uh, Made in Hollywood. And we air right here on CW22 at 1 p.m. here in Raleigh. So tell everybody a little bit about what the show is. Well, you know, Made in Hollywood, we're real excited about it. Uh, Tim, thank you for having us on. We're, we, we couldn't be more pleased about the success of this show worldwide, actually. Uh, Made in Hollywood is is a very special look uh, that producers, directors, and stars take us on each week behind the screen of all the major new motion picture and DVD releases. And the real emphasis of the show is how and why movies are made in Hollywood. No critics, no gossip. It's all about the, the nuts and bolts and the actual production uh, of each uh, major motion picture studio release. Wow, and I know the title is Made in Hollywood, but are you, is it the focus so much specifically on Hollywood, or is it just the business in general where you're willing to talk about films being made in other parts of the country, like maybe Canada or uh, North Carolina? Absolutely, it's every major quote-in-quote Hollywood release, but it's certainly, I mean, clearly, you know, movies week to week could have been made in Budapest or Hungary or 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 Australia or Canada or the U.S. anywhere. So uh, it's not so much where they're made, but the fact that, uh, you know, it is technically, quote, unquote, a Hollywood studio release 90% of the time. And uh, that's that's essentially what, what, what it is. I mean, certainly Hollywood has uh, become synonymous with uh, television and motion picture production worldwide, and it is amazing how many, in fact, you know, speaking of the success of this show, we have worldwide success. Uh, we're in many other countries, and, and, and it's amazing how much those countries uh, have grown to uh, appreciate uh, probably our, our number one cultural export, which is Hollywood. Well, that's true. And I know, of course, traditionally, you've always had throughout the summer your big blockbusters. But, I mean, you being someone that works within film and, and uh, focuses on film and researches about it for your show, uh, has it been something that's recently just happened where not only the blockbusters in the summertime, but now they're also trying to start releasing them around uh, Christmas, December time? Um, and do you have a reason why you think that is? Well, uh, I think uh, the, certainly in terms of the demographics, the, the movie, we have a tremendous uh, partnership, in fact, with MovieTickets.com, where all of our Made in Hollywood content, which can be seen not only at www.madeinhollywood.tv, but at movietickets.com as well. And one, one, one thing that that partnership, it's owned by Viacom and AMC Theaters. And one of the things about movietickets.com, there are 12 million movie ticket buyers online buying their tickets for these movies. We get a chance to see the ebb and flow of the, of the movie ticket buyer audience. Uh, and, and, and clearly, from a demographic standpoint, uh, summer is a great time. Kids are out of school. Uh, folks are on vacation. People have a leisure mindset, if you will, even if they're, they're, they're still working. They try, as we all try to do, to get out of the office early because the weather's so nice. Although here in California, the weather is always nice. But, uh... Well, you would think so, but you know what? I actually just recently went in January, and the w first time that I was out, well, I've been to California twice, but then the, the time that I have been out there in the past couple of years, as soon as I pulled into California, it was raining. I was like, what's oh, up boy. with this? Well, you, you, you caught us at, at one of our rare, uh, rare, rare situations where that happens. Well, either that or maybe I just have a permanent rain cloud head over my head all the time. Yeah, the East Coast with you. <laughs> I think so. Well, tell me, there's so many shows out there right now that kind of focus on, you know, the nuts and bolts and production of Hollywood, but what is it about Made in Hollywood that does make this show so much more special? Well, one of the reasons I think we've had great success, I mean, in your area of the country, we're in Greensboro, um, uh, you know, where we're on at 6 o'clock on the CW, and, and in Charlotte, where, we're, where we air on two stations, WSOC, ABC, and AXN, they're independent every uh, every weekend. And one of the reasons the ratings are so high, many many in most cases, is because we're, we're truly, specifically, uh, about the nuts and bolts of how and why movies are made, and presented by, you know, with, with all of the segments, and, and, and each segment is introduced and, and hosted, so to speak, by the producer, director, and or stars of that particular movie, and it's a, it's a real great opportunity. For example, we were just with Ben Stiller 
uh, up in Vancouver, and we're with him this weekend for the premiere of Night at the Museum 2 in Washington, D.C. So he really took us on a complete tour of the setup in Vancouver. The director, uh, Sean, was, was, was nice enough to do the same. And so we have a complete look at Night at the Museum, not only from uh, the, the release standpoint of the excitement of, of the interviews and the actual uh, uh, behind-the-screen footage that, that we'll have on the, on the episode that focuses on Night at the Museum, too, but, but the, just the opportunity to have the star and director actually take us on a tour of the set and tell us how they did it. Uh, precious few uh, of the entertainment shows focus on this. Essentially what started to happen is with the, with the, 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 the extremely uh, uh, well-known and, and legendary entertainment shows, focus now almost exclusively on gossip yeah. and um, you know frankly uh, some of the other shows uh, 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 may focus on, on more, maybe a critics review there are a couple of uh, one very well known and, and one newer show that, that are just a couple of talking head critics saying yeah I like it no I didn't blah 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 so, so it really get, gave an opportunity for me as a television producer to develop something that really was more on, on uh, focused on how and why a movie was made and let's not guess and let's not uh, try to figure it out let's have the star and director and producer actually take us on a tour of how they made that particular movie and and i think that's really exciting the only other place where they can get some element of our content it still isn't the full element but some element is you know six months to a year later when the dvd gets released they might get a chance to see a little bit of what we do but they still wouldn't really get uh, the full opportunity of seeing what we do on a day and date basis when uh, each movie is released every weekend. That's true. That's an excellent point. And that's one thing that I, as growing up, I used to enjoy watching kind of the magazine type show and where they showed some of the behind the scenes. But you're right. It does seem like as time has gone on that some of those shows that have been around for a while have turned more gossipy. And that's one of the things I like about your show is you actually still take it back to where it kind of should be, where some of the, the nuts and bolts and how it's made and what it's about and just none of the fluff. But yet it's presented in a very good quality production, but it's none of the just gossipy kind of that type of stuff. That's it, Tim, and I appreciate it, absolutely, and that's why, you know, we're pleased at the, the worldwide success of the Made in Hollywood brand. We really think uh, this is really kind of a neat uh, approach, and we're really excited about our partnership with MovieTickets.com because it's one of those great, uh, great partnerships where we present uh, the MovieTickets.com content on TV, they present the Made in Hollywood content online, and we, we're both working together to, uh, for the benefit, really, of the millions of, uh, of movie ticket buyers who really want to, to gain everything they can. Of trying to, you know, if you want to make that decision, it's great to go on to MovieTickets.com, and before you buy your ticket, take a look at each movie, take a look at each uh, Made in Hollywood segment, and figure out for yourself, or watch Made in Hollywood on TV, and uh, do the very same thing, and, and then go to MovieTickets.com and buy your ticket for the, for the newest release well that's awesome synergy between both of our brands and we, we like to think we're assisting that's the, true uh, the, the motion picture uh, ticket audience well i wanted to ask you real quickly too can you pick like two films that you think throughout this summer that are probably going to just be the blockbuster and maybe we've already seen one of them with star trek now oh absolutely listen we we just finished and as a matter of fact for your um uh, for your listeners and viewers uh they should know that uh, this weekend is the made in hollywood big summer blockbuster special wow including the CW right there in your market. And, um, and the big summer blockbuster special features all the, the terrific uh, summer movies. I have to say that, that the studios have really pulled it all out. We, we, we just covered X-Men, uh, which obviously opened to $85 million, and we covered Star Trek, of course, which just opened to you know over $75 million in its first weekend. Uh, I, I, would, I would have to say that coming right behind them, uh, I'm, I'm really intrigued by Disney Pixar's Up. I mean, that's a hilarious movie. It, it, it really is funny. It's an extremely funny movie, uh, and, I, and I would have to say for the entire, for the entire family because, uh, because it's funny. I think Nightmare at the Museum is going to do extremely well. I think Land of the Lost with, uh, I think the comedies are really uh, going to be strong. And then, of course, we can't forget action. I mean, on the action side of the fence, Terminator Salvation is very intense. Uh, Transformers uh, is coming back strong, and um, and GI Joe for, mm -hmm. for those of us that love action, it's going to be an action-packed summer. And then you got the Taking of Pelham One Two Three on the drama side, and you have Julie and Julia uh, on the drama side. So you know it's a it's a night. And then on the family side, Eddie Murphy uh, is back with a nice family movie, uh, uh, and so you, you know you kind of have a, a very well-rounded.
rapid summer, and you're absolutely right because the studios have focused and recognized that summer is the, one of the largest, uh, most popular movie-going time periods of the year. They, they've really loaded up, and from ca- comedies to drama to family to action, we're all going to have a very fun, hot movie summer. Woo! I'm ready, and everybody give a nice round of applause for Cleveland O'Neill. Cleveland, thanks for joining us. We encourage everyone to check out the local listings for when Made in Hollywood is on, and make sure they check out that summer blockbuster special. It should be great. Everybody, again, thanks so much, Cleveland. Thanks. Woo! Thanks. Have a great night.